YouTube. Today, we're gonna cook on a truck, okay? You guys have been asking for another cooking video. We're gonna make some orange chicken, uh, a little spicy, you know I like spicy. Uh, well, let's get down to it. of the tubiest the best youtube subscribers on the planet that's you and i'm 50 plus today we're going to cook on the truck we're going to make some uh my version of uh orange lemon chicken um first thing we're gonna do is go over a little bit of ingredients let you know what we're cooking with and you know as usual my cooking videos that's probably why y'all like them because they're not very long but uh, I'm gonna let you know what we're going, what we're doing, and what uh, ingredients we're gonna use, and we're gonna cook it in an instant pot. Um, this is gonna be the instant pot mini, so you know this kind of stuff is gonna look, get a little crowded in there, but uh, we're gonna make it happen. Here we go. All right, guys, look. You can see here what we have. We have some cilantro, cilantro. Uh, this is. Uh, Sweet Smoky Joe's Foyo Chicken, and it has the uh, orange flavor in it, okay? And Slap Your Mama, it's a blend of salt and pepper. Uh, here we have some uh, sweet peppers back there. Uh, jalapeno peppers, lime, this is a jalapeno pepper, then we got some lime, lemon, and some oranges right there, and our chicken thighs. I like using chicken thighs because, hell, they just taste better. All right, before we get going any further, uh, you need to make sure that you wash your chicken, okay? Don't just take it out of the package and throw it in there and season it and go after it, okay? Rinse it off, and uh, and I'd use, you know, just a bottle of water, and uh, and I rinse them off, okay? And uh, and then you and then you season them. Um, what I'm gonna do next is uh, cut the peppers up a little bit, put a little cilantro. Uh, I just take the oranges and slice them uh, long ways, you know? So if you were to look at the orange, you would, well, you know what? Let me just show you. This way. See how you can see the veins of the orange, okay? Can you see that? That's the way you cut the orange up. Um, I don't like cutting them the other way because they start coming apart too easy, okay? Um, so, as you can see, I've already cut my vegetables up and put them in the, in the bottom of the pot, all right? I'm gonna uh, put some cilantro in there, and I generally put the cilantro at the bottom, put the, at the bottom of the uh, pot, then I put the vegetables on top, then I put the the, uh, the uh, chicken on top of the vegetables. I just don't like for the cilantro leaves to get, you know, you know, actually in the chicken if I can avoid it. I just want the flavor of the cilantro, okay? So what you're gonna see next is uh, the pot with the uh, with the ingredients in it and the, the uh, chicken seasoned to taste, okay? So put as much as you want. Now we'll take something about that Sweet Smoky Joe. Uh, if you go to his website, uh, they got a bunch of good stuff on there and the uh, foyo chicken line you're not going to go wrong and you actually can uh, season it with the sweet smoky joe's um, foyo chicken orange is sprinkled on there good and you're still going to have orange flavor i like for my flavors to kind of pop you know hence all the pepper and stuff right <laughs> uh therefore i i, I put the lemon the uh, orange slices in there you can also zest your oranges as well but you know i don't have that stuff on here we're on a truck and um even if i was at home i still wouldn't do it okay i like it with the this way okay cut your lemon in half and squeeze the lemon juice in there you don't have to put the lemon in the in the pot because we're using the instant pot mini for one person i'm putting four chicken thighs in there why because it's going to be for two meals i eat two of them this today and then tomorrow i eat the other two and i have to cook tomorrow and uh, uh it's just not about a lot of room 
in the Instant Pot Mini to put a lot of extra stuff in there, okay? Um, so let's get down to it. All right, guys. As you can see in my pot here, I have the, the, the cilantro and all my little vegetables. And now I'm just going to kind of cover up the cilantro just a little bit. I mean, it's not, it's not extra necessary, but I kind of like to do it that way. Um, at this point, we're going to pour water in it until the water just reaches the uh, over the bottom of the liner. This is the liner. You don't have to cook with those liners in there anyway. So they don't come with them. You have to buy them separate. I like the liners because I can pull it out, let the water drain out of it, and then get my stuff out of it pretty easy. Okay. Um, I'm about to season my chicken. Again, season it to taste. Okay. Uh, it's not a science, you know, your flavors, your palate is different than mine. So what I'm going to do now is season the chicken. Then I'm just going to lay it in the pot. Okay. I do have an onion back there. See the onion? I'm going to cut the onion up and uh, and put it in there as well. And uh, we're going to have some a lot of flavors going on. All right, guys. Chicken's in there. And as you can see, you can't see the vegetables anymore because they're underneath, right? Um, <clears throat> I like doing that. But in, a, in a pressure cooker, the uh, flavors will start to surround. So you really don't have a problem with that. But I like doing it that way so that the uh, loose items like the uh, cilantro will only get the flavor from it, which is all I really want, right? You see, I squeezed the lemons in there. You saw the oranges in there. Those are extras, you know. And as you can see, they're seasoned pretty heavy. And uh, and I, 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 I like I like that. So you just season them to your flavor. The ingredients that I used, the the, uh, the uh, seasonings that I used, uh, they will go uh, a variety of ways, okay? You can cook a variety of chicken or pork or uh, whatever you want with it. And, and uh, you don't have to use a, a bunch of different seasonings on the truck, okay? Because you don't have that much space, okay? As you can see, I keep those little baby wipes all right because you're gonna constantly wipe your hands man i mean you don't have a sink in the truck so you're constantly pulling those out of there and and, and wiping and keeping clean it's just something that you gotta do if you don't want to do that my advice to you is do not cook on your truck if you can't find a way to be clean and sanitary okay um so now it's time to put it in the instant pot so I'll put it in, and I'll kind of describe a little, 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 the pot a little bit, and then we'll get we'll get it going. This is really simple. Right. There's the instant pot. It's in there, and I mean these things are so simple to use. We're just gonna uh, push the uh, pressure cook, and then you just move the time. And I'm gonna put it on two hours, which is way more than I really need. Um, but um, you really don't overcook it in this thing. It actually works out pretty good. And no, the reason why I'm using two hours is because we have so much in there, okay? You know, I mean, it's my hand over this thing. It's not that big, okay? And you saw how full the uh, little kettle was that goes inside. So let me go ahead and get that started. And then we'll, I'll come back and talk to you a little bit more. All right, guys. Um, I just want to talk to you a little bit about cooking on your truck. Right now, it's you know it's perfect opportunity. If you're not cooking in your truck right now, you should do it. Uh, it's perfect because, uh, as you guys know, we can't go into the uh, truck stop, sit down and eat. I mean, you're gonna go in there and you're gonna get the food and bring it back to the truck. So, um, at least you have an opportunity to kind of change things up. The other the other thing is you're gonna save so much money. I mean, it's just a ridiculous amount of money that you would spend in a truck stop eating every day. I don't because I cook on my truck. I ate breakfast on my truck. I made bacon and eggs this morning. Um, and so now I'm going to make a meal. It's going to last me two two dinners. It's real easy. The thing is, you just need to be very clean when you do it, okay? you got to be a clean person. And if you're not, then you might want to just keep on going inside. But a lot of these restaurants that we would normally go to, like these mom and pops, man, a lot of them closed. And so you actually have to go to a big truck stop. And then you got to go in there. You got to wait in line behind other people, you know, six feet away. Now, it's just a pain in the ass. I, I, I've watched it. You know, I don't do it because I don't I cook myself. But I see it, you know. 
And uh, it's just a much better idea as long as you can be clean. So when you're when you're uh, done, you got to clean up the materials, your your cooking utensils and everything, right? And uh, I generally take it in, take it inside and wash it, you know, to keep clean. Um, it's, it's easy. It's easy. Just make a way. Okay. Don't make excuses. Make a way. Okay. To get her done. So anyways, I have to start the truck. Let the truck run while my food is cooking because the, the, the inverter won't run that instant pot uh, without the truck running. So uh, the next time you see me. Uh, I'll have the food out, the chicken out, and um, we'll make a little presentation of our orange chicken, okay? All right, everybody, so we're done. That's my chicken, and we got some rice and beans. I mean, this is really easy, okay? This is not a, a, a very difficult thing to do, and you know, I would taste it right now. All right, but guys. See, I would taste that right now, but you know, have you ever seen anybody taste their own food and then say it's nasty? And go, oh my god, it's gross! Every time they always put the food in their mouth and go, mm, 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 so good. Oh my god, like they're having an orgasm or something, and then you watching them mad because you ain't having one. So I'm not gonna do it to you. All I can tell you is I already did taste it and it was good. Okay, so. The bottom line this is not hard you can eat on your truck you can cook on your truck you can save a lot of money and uh you know you can cook to your own palate all right anyways i'm about to go finish eating so here's your boot, eee, boot.